What's up guys, welcome back. Paul Sklar from Paul Sklar X Fit. If you can't already tell, today is arm day. And specifically, biceps day. Who doesn't want big biceps? I've said this before, big arms are a show of strength and a show of power. The great thing about today's biceps work is that it is quick and it is efficient. So if you're short on time, this is the biceps workout. For you. Today's workout involves three exercises. They're simple. All you will need are potentially two sets of dumbbells and one resistance band. I am using an extra heavy resistance band. You can choose a resistance band that is best suitable for you. This is the last exercise in the three exercise sequence. I've chosen an extra heavy band to give myself more challenge. Now it's possible to do this workout with one set of dumbbells. Since it is a multi-set or a giant set, that means three exercises back to back to back, you may want a lighter pair of dumbbells for set number two. Okay, today I'm a man of very few words. I'm gonna get this ultralight tech tee from Barbell Apparel off so that you can see exactly what muscle groups work during a biceps curl sequence. Okay, if you're like me, you're extremely busy. So when I get into the gym, I need to maximize every single bit of time that I have. That means every single set, every single rep, I'm looking to contract as hard as possible. So with this three exercise biceps multi-set, the key is maximizing contraction. And maximizing contraction doesn't mean that you have to use a lot of weight. And I'm gonna show you exactly how using slightly less weight can actually maximize your contraction. The first exercise is the double hammer curl. Now I'm gonna show you a slightly different way that I do hammer curls in order to maximize contraction. I'm gonna have you bring the dumbbells to the front portion of your thigh. If you look, my elbows are fully extended. I'm gonna actually put weight on the balls of my feet and you can see I've shifted forward, so I've shifted weight into my biceps. So now that I have my weight forward, I've gotta make sure that I keep my abdominals contracted extra tight to make sure that I don't go into my lower back when I start my biceps curl. Now this first exercise is the double hammer curl. We do them both at the same time in order to optimize time. You can also do these unilaterally. That means doing one arm at a time and alternating. Now if we look at arm position. I'm locked in extra tight. I have my arms screwed into my body. So my biceps are touching my pecs. My lats are touching my triceps and I am fully locked and loaded. You want to keep the chest nice and high with all of the weight forward. And we're going to, without moving the elbow, curl up nice and tight. And I want to initiate the curl from my biceps. We've got full extension to come back down, no momentum at all, so if I use momentum, I'll probably fall over. So in this position, again, keep the abdominals tight, keep the chest nice and high, isolate the contraction to the biceps. Now with the hammer curl, you also get the muscles of the upper forearm, and that makes the arms look bigger. So concentrate on that, upper forearms, and of course, biceps, keeping the abdominals tight. For this set, you wanna take anywhere between eight and 12 repetitions. You can also go straight to failure. And if I go slowly enough and hold form, I can get to failure pretty quickly. You should be slightly out of breath if you got that first set right. You now want to immediately grab your next set of dumbbells. So for me, my next set, is a pair of 25s. For this second double bicep squeeze curl, we wanna take the corners of the dumbbell, as you can see, and we wanna put them together. That's the start position and the finish position. You can see when I put the dumbbells together, my chest also contracts, my abdominals contract, and my biceps at the same time. Looking at it from the side, you can see exactly what muscles are prepped and ready to go. So the key here in order to maximize contraction, you've got to keep the dumbbells locked together. And you'll see when I curl, it's an extra tight contraction. I'm gonna keep them locked together and they stay in the exact same position all the way down. You don't deviate, you don't move the dumbbells. You keep the arms locked into the body, just like I had them locked in before, so that there's no movement no momentum, I'm squeezing as tight as I possibly can. And again, looking for maximum contraction. So the dumbbells may try to slip a little, you've gotta reposition them and squeeze all the way through. So again, max contraction at the biceps, they're nice and tight. I can barely squeeze up for this last rep. So with the double bicep squeeze curl, you wanna look for anywhere 
between six and 10 extremely concentrated reps. So if you get it right, you should be out of breath. Your cardiovascular system should start to vamp up and the pump should be insane. Third and final exercise, you're gonna bring out your band. You'll take your band, you'll step on it with both feet. I've got about six to eight inches in between. As you can see, you wanna make sure that both bands are equal distance. You have the same amount of band on each side before you stand up and start. Now that you've got yourself in position, same deal. Screw the arms into the body. I have my biceps against my pecs, my triceps against my lats, so I am bridged, locked and loaded, ready to go. This last exercise is an iso hold. So you'll hold halfway up. You'll see my arms are already starting to shake. You'll extend down with one arm, back to the halfway point, extend down with the other, and back to the halfway point. So biceps are under an incredible amount of tension. There is more peak involved in this particular exercise. So we're also looking for peak as well as size. So I'm already almost fully fatigued out. My abs are locked in place. Again, heart rate is going up. I'm about to get my last rep. I typically like to do these to form failure and release. Now, here is the grand finale. Once you've done that, you'll rest about five or six seconds. Lock the arms in place again, chest high. We're gonna go full reps all the way up. That's one, full extension down. Two, our goal is to get three more reps. That's three. Biceps should be on fire. And you'll see, two, I'm doing the best I can to keep form. And one, big, big, big. So yes, I'm struggling to death with a set of bands. Now remember, these are covered resistance bands. They will not snap. If they do snap, they snap within the nylon sheath on the outside. No one gets hurt. Everyone walks away feeling good. Okay, so that was one set. I typically like to work anywhere between three to five sets of that specific sequence. Sometimes I'll do it before my back workout. Sometimes I'll do it at the end of my back workout. Sometimes I'll do it standalone. If I just want to concentrate on my biceps and my arms, I'll do a standalone biceps and triceps workout in order to increase the size of my arms. Remember, contraction is key. Thinking about how you want your muscles to look, about how you want your muscles to perform. And this all increases the mind-body connection, which at the end of the day increases results. So if you're not getting the results that you want, you may need to change the way that you work out, change the way that you think about working out, change the way that you think about eating, because of course, eating is important. If you want all of the muscles to show, you've got to have lower body fat. And of course, how do we get lower body fat? Combination of diet and exercise. It's a simple formula, easy in theory, extremely difficult in practice. So you've gotta be well-rounded all across the boards if you want to see the best results for you. And again, it all comes down to your goals. Have a goal in mind before every single workout. What do you want to accomplish during the workout? What do you want to get done? And then execute that workout. If you enjoyed this workout as much as I did, I hope you got a lot out of it. Please subscribe to my channel and make sure that you train hard and eat smart.